Hi friends, thanks for joining me this week. We are going to be making something from the upcoming holiday catalog. Uh, if you live in Canada and do not yet have your own copy of this, then send me a message and I will get one out to you. Um, you can see I've still got uh, a few things left to buy from this catalog as my wish list. I can't show you the inside yet, but you can see there's uh, a few post-its in there. That is what I have not yet gotten. I've placed two pre-orders already, so um, let's get on to this. Got a busy afternoon ahead of me, so uh, let's get our craft on. I'm going to show you the two samples that I have made, and I'm going to modify it just a little bit from what I have done. This is the first one. This is, before you see too much of that, this is the Country Home stamp set, and it is beautiful. There is some gorgeous DSP to go with this. And if this is your first time here, you don't know that I cut my DSP when I get it. I'm more likely to use it that way. But this is the DSP cut down to 4x6. Of course, everything's going to shift. So there are some beautiful colors in this suite. I'm just going to turn this on so you can see. Um, there is Blackberry Bliss and Old Olive and Cajun Craze and Crushed Curry and some mint macaron, actually. This is old olive in this paper, but so that's the back side. Being a knitter in the past, I love this. So that's that paper, and then you've got this, and that galvanized can is just, it's amazing. So you've got Blackberry Bliss on this side. And then you've got a lovely kind of plaid pattern in crushed curry there and some pumpkins on the other side with mint macaron. Um, with this suite there is uh, an embossing folder called the Tin Tile and I'm just going to pull it out here. I have to admit that the first time I saw the holiday catalog I was not loving any of the embossing folders but this one is amazing and you will get to see a little bit more of that in a few minutes. So this is that tin tile. On the back side of that is some mint macaron. Um, I think they're cotton flowers. More blackberry bliss. More cotton flowers. And this is crushed curry and blackberry bliss. And then a nice wood pattern on the back side of that. So very country. Uh, so let's get going. You can see the stamp set has some great sentiments. It's got the uh, galvanized can and also a watering can. It's got some nice foliage and beautiful sentiments and then that tin tile so you could stamp a background. So this is what I made playing around with this last week and I have done a couple with blends. Uh, I've got one right here. I have posted some on my Instagram and I will put the link to that below. So this is another one. And I do find instead of fussy cutting these flowers because there are no coordinating thinlets, if you have your can, whether it's the watering can or the galvanized can coming off the edge, try to keep your flowers on the um, stitch shape in this instance so you don't have to do any fussy cutting. But I just used one of the sentiments kind of as a first mark background and then I've got some of that tin tile galvanized Paper. This is not the silver, um, the silver uh, metallic foil. This is galvanized and it's gorgeous and blank on the inside. But so that is colored with blends. This one I did uh, aqua painter with ink, and you can see it's embossed with copper embossing. I've got the copper trim and some burlap and a cute little staple, and it's on watercolor paper. And then I've got that beautiful tin tile on copper metallic paper. And then this is the next sample I made, and this one is silver embossing. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to change from this card is the can. I don't wanna do it. This was uh, Cajun Craze and some Blackberry Bliss to kind of tone it down. And I've got Fresh Fig, and this is some of that gorgeous Fresh Fig ribbon. Um, the twine from Nature's Poem, and then the galvanized metal. So we're going to make this one. Uh, you could change it up to any colors. You can see they both look stunning. So we're going to get to this quickly. So I have got an A2 card base in Fresh Fig. 
and it is 11 by four and a quarter, scored in the middle at five and a half. Um, I had already cut a piece of the galvanized paper and embossed the whole thing, so this is just a strip of that. And again, that is this embossing folder. And if you join me for my holiday bingo on Friday, September 28th, if you live in Winnipeg or anywhere in the area, um, registration will be opening shortly. I just had the time confirmed. It will be at the Park West Hotel. Um, so there's room for plenty and that tin tile embossing folder will be one of the prizes. So if bingo is something that interests you, then uh, come check it out. I will put the registration link below as soon as that is available and you can sign up. So let's get to stamping. I'm going to use again the galvanized can on this one. So we'll get out our Versamark and silver embossing folder, or sorry, embossing powder. The words, they are hard. And so that I don't use up a whole sheet of paper, we'll do it that way. And then it can be hard to see where you are stamping your flowers. So when I did my sample yesterday, I did put my powder on the can and then embossed it and then stamped my foliage and put my powder on and stamped it. But we're gonna live life on the edge here and do both at the same time. And if that doesn't work, I've got room on this side. I am very close to the top, so we'll see how those cattails fare when I decide to tear it. I am gonna do one on this side as well because that can is just a little bit too high for my liking. And since I have the flowers already mounted on my D-block, I will start with that. powder on this time because I can't see where everything is. And because I don't want to mess this up, I'm just going to start my heat tool over here. So now we can get out our colors and I'm going to use some Blackberry Bliss Mint Macaron. We are going to use the colors that are in the suite. Um, and we are going to use Smoky Slate for the can instead of what I had used before. And a little bit of Cajun Craze. So just grab your Aqua Painter. put a little bit on this artichoke looking thing. I don't know what it is, but it looks like an artichoke to me. So just to add a little bit of highlight in there. Uh, we're gonna make, instead of, you can see on these two cards, I used um, either a lighter green or a yellow on here and um, it's okay, but not really digging it. So let's try something a little different. set that aside for a moment. I'm just going to grab my card base and my galvanized and this is a beautiful folder on both sides so you can choose which you prefer to have facing up. I think we are going to do the reverse this time. I'm just using some Tombow. I'm 
So this, wow, this piece is five and a half by one and a half. I'll just leave a block on there for a moment. I think because I'm using the underside, it is a little harder to adhere. We'll set that one aside. We'll stamp our sentiment, and I think I am going to do that in mint macaron. And the first two, I did the same sentiment, simply thankful for all the good things. Uh, this time we will use this one, which you will see in a moment. So grateful for someone like you in my life. Now, to tear this, I understand Stampin' Up! used to have a tearing ruler. Um, I am just going to use a little plastic one. And I always like to tear from the back. It gives me a nicer edge. This is gonna be a little tight. I may not be able to rip this piece. in doubt just rip it by hand that way you can see if you're tearing a vital piece off usually what I do is put it on my clipboard and tear so let's try that for this tiny little piece here. And again, I don't have a lot of room. So just holding that down. There we go. Now I did take a little piece of that off. So I can tear that and glue it back on, which is what I'm gonna do because trying to find a silver marker or something that is going to match here is just gonna to be too difficult. So we'll do a little bit of surgery here. I also want you to see that not everything always goes to plan. So sometimes you've gotta make a change or try and fix something. So there we go. A bit of stamping up surgery. Now, I did not pop any of this on dimensionals. I just glued it all down. Pressing down for a moment, and you can put your clear blocks down again. And the only part that's left is our little bit of ribbon. So I will cut a piece of the Fresh Fig Ruffled Ribbon. My apologies, all my ribbon is stored away so I can't bring it to the camera. Now with the one I did yesterday, I kind of wrapped it around my fingers and then chose to cut it, but I think we'll keep this one in a bit of a bow. So with your Fresh Fig, just tie it in a little bow, and if you're concerned that you don't have the right length, then tie it while it's still on before you've cut it. And then taking your scissors, just shorten up those ends. And if it doesn't lie flat, don't worry, you're going to use a glue dot to adjust that anyways.
I prefer a small little bow. There we go. We'll take this twine and just wrap it around three fingers. And I like to secure it in place, so I just take one of those and I like to tie a little knot. There we go. Grab our glue dots. Trim these little ends. dot on this bow there we go feel free to angle that bow whichever way you'd like the first two I have them straight and we will take a little bit of snail and attach our insert And there we go. Three cards. I might hit that a little bit more with my basic gray. Let's set this one on this side. But there we go. Same basic design, three different cards. Uh, thank you for joining me, friends, and I hope you will consider hitting that big subscribe button below. And we'll see you soon. Bye, friends.